I'm Conan O'Brien, and I'm coming to you from Pier 45 on the Hudson River on this, the night of my show's fifth year anniversary special. In preparation for tonight's extraordinary primetime program, my staff and I have spent countless hours collecting all the greatest moments from this past five years of late night. Then we distilled those moments down to an even smaller, more select collection of only the absolute best clips from our five years on the air. Then, just moments ago, we took those precious clips and wrapped them up tightly in a padlocked straitjacket, then placed them inside this two-inch thick solid steel combination safe, which we then submerged in a 100-gallon iron barrel full of quick drying cement. A barrel, ladies and gentlemen, which we will now drop and let sink to the very bottom of the Hudson River. And there she goes. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> why did we do that again? Does anybody know why we did that? I clipped. Oh, God. My anniversary clip! From NBC Studios in New York, it's the Late Night with Conan O'Brien, fifth anniversary special! With surprise visits from big celebrity guests, This job would be a lot more fun if there weren't so many live bees in the announcer booth. Now, here's your host, Conan O'Brien! Thank you all very much. Thank you for being here. Hello and welcome. Thank you, sir. I love you, too. Uh, I always get the men. Uh, hello and welcome, folks, to our fifth anniversary special. This is a big deal for us. We're very glad that you could be here. Very cool. It's pretty cool. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of things to take care of right up front. Uh, because this is our first show in prime time, Believe it or not, we have a lot of new viewers who've never seen me before. That's true. That's true, yeah, and uh, I want to say to those people right now, hello, my name is Mark McGuire. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> when I do this, it's almost as big as yeah. his. You have the biggest forearms in baseball Thank from you. what I hear. Thank you. Now, what uh, people don't realize is uh, this is uh, not only the fifth anniversary for the show, it's also the fifth anniversary for the I Can't Believe That Guy Has a Show Club. <laughs> Which... <laughs> you know, I'd have been happy if you didn't find that funny. <laughs> but you found it funny. All right. You know what's weird? Thinking back to 1993, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the year that we went on the air. I don't know if you've thought about 1993 lately, but the year that we went on the air, Julia Roberts married Lyle Lovett, Prince changed his name to a weird symbol, and Michael Jordan quit the Bulls to play baseball. That's right, yeah, so as you can see, we were hardly the year's biggest mistake. Sort of... So 
coming in a little later on. Now, let's take a second. This is a big deal for us, and so uh, we've moved. This is not our normal studio. We're, we're usually downstairs. We're in uh, 8H. It's the Saturday Night Live studio. And look at this. They did a great job. They built us a whole new set. Isn't this nice? It's beautiful. Not that piece of crap we're in every night. <laughs> Bitterness doesn't work in prime time. You know what's funny uh, is over the years, some of you who've, who've been watching the show since the beginning, you'll know that uh, over the course of five years, the way I actually look on the air has changed. I, I've, that's right, my, my voice has changed many things. Uh, I, um, you think about it, it's very strange. We experimented with different looks in the beginning to try and figure out what should this guy look like on the air? And uh, we actually put together a little montage of, and a lot of these looks, a lot of these looks are going back to the first year, year and a half when we were, weren't quite getting things right. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Liz, can we show this please? Look, I like that. <laughs> I, uh, I do want to bring this up uh, on a more serious note. Uh, I've, made, uh, I've made some great friendships and forged some really amazing relationships since starting this program. And uh, one is uh, with uh, the band leader and the band that I believe is the finest late night band of all time. <laughs> Max Weinberg and his Max Weinberg 7. Max! Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Happy 50 years, Tony. It doesn't get better than that. Thank you, Tony. Thanks for being here. He quit Bruce to be with me. <laughs> At least I think that's the chronology. Uh, the other important relationship, of course, is uh, the one I forged with uh, one of uh, the funniest people in the world, my buddy, my pal, Mr. Andy Richter. Give it up for Andy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a fun. You know, people don't know this. They don't. They don't know this. But but the but I I met you when I was putting the show together. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think that that Andy and I met like freshman year in high school. Yeah. Because our chemistry is so incredible on uh, the air. But I I too quit Bruce to be with you. Yeah. Uh, I, I was cleaning his pool. Yeah. This is better. Yeah. Although I hear it's a good pool. It's a very blue collar pool. Yeah. <laughs> a working man's pool. I don't know. I, I think we've had a great relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we wanted to put at the very top of the show a little montage of uh, my relationship with Andy and Joy. Last night on Conan O'Brien. You're a bastard. Yes, I know. <laughs> Stop it, Andy. It's not funny. It's not funny, it Andy. It's funny. You're funny. Stop it. You look like a fool now. I feel like a jerk now. Uh, I'm sorry. Why do you push me like well, that? I just, I mean, I didn't know you'd go that far. I yeah. thought it's gonna leave some kind of like a small hole, uh -huh. but no, it leaves a huge <laughs> hole. Did you know that uh, NBC has a Turkish spa? 
right here, you mean? Yeah, isn't that great? That is great. That would be nice. Yeah. Well, the only catch is you, uh, you have to be completely naked. I, that's that's no problem. I mean, I'll I'll check it I think out. You're gonna like it, yeah. Hey, give me the rope. What? Just give me the rope. Get in there. The movie. It's called The Price Above Rubies, and then we'll talk. Hey, Matt. What are you doing? So, um, I've been the victim of a little trick. Keep it pretty how's, cold in here. How's the show going? Going, going pretty good. Conan, he's all right? Yeah, he's fine. Is Katie around? Yes, she is. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's real leather. Oh, oh, okay. Yatruda, Utren Herr, Teva Schoen, Kunda, Ya mit Leave Many, Dever Kunsa took it, Art May. Kunse? We got a great show for you tonight, don't we, Andy? We sure do. And let's just make it an easy one for my sake, okay? Because, you know, I'm two days away from retirement. Oh, that's right. Any special plans? I'm just going to sail to Barbados and take it easy. Wow. How I envy you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome a friend to us all, Al Roker. All right, folks, we got some great show coming up. A bunch of special guests dropping by. Take it away, Max. We'll be right back. with Conan O'Brien fifth anniversary special is sponsored in part by genuine Chevrolet, the cars more Americans trust. I know a place. This is not a country for wimps. We invented the cowboy, the jawbreaker, and the quarterback blitz. I'll take you there. We are rough on our cars. So get a Chevy Malibu. It'll go up to 100,000 miles before its first scheduled tune-up. Transmission fluid, 100,000 miles. Engine coolant, five years or 150,000 miles. We're talking tough. The car you knew America could build. The Chevy Malibu. I'll take you there. Oh! I'm here. You're here. We're here. It's time to get back to the best part of the 60s. That's right, when McDonald's introduced the Big Mac. Buy a Big Mac or larger medium soft drink and get something groovy every time. Uh, all the people and music and the bubbles. Like a 49-cent Big Mac, 18-cent fries, or other 1968 prices on your next visit. To all be Where can you get back with Big Mac? Did somebody say McDonald's? It's all so... Producers of Frasier have won for best comedy five years in a row. What did they do for an encore? I'm home! Nathan Lane stars in Encore Encore, NBC Tuesday. On the Just Shoot Me season premiere, this is Dennis Finch. And this is his boss's nanny. I'll do anything if I think it'll please someone. What's that? And this is the nanny cam episode. Caught on tape, 
at his boss's house doing this and a lot of this. I'm the boss and I'm a blabbering blabbery blah. <laughs> the Just Shoot Me season premiere, NBC Tuesday. You went over to my house? Yeah, I poked around a little. <laughs> People have a lot to say about Wendy's new French onion chicken grill. Is that as good as it looks? Mm -hmm. They love the delicious marinated whole chicken breast fillet grilled to lock in the juices. What's that, Mom? Two strips of bacon. Sautéed onions. Mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. And that zesty French onion sauce. Can I try it? Mm-mm. Oh, that looks mm -hmm. so good. Where'd you get it? Mm-mm. I should have known. Come try Wendy's new French onion chicken grill. What more can you say? Mm-hmm. Besides that. really nice, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of our fifth anniversary, our show is actually being simulcast in Times Square on a screen in Times Isn't this pretty cool? It's very exciting. Yeah, Liz, uh, can, we, um, can we go to that outside shot, please? This is great. Yeah, that's the big NBC one. Now, just yeah. pull back a little bit, if you could, actually. And then it's uh, more over to the right, Yeah. if you don't mind. It's over there. Just push in there, just, yeah, right. And then right in here, isn't that great? This is cool. Oh, there we are. There we are right there. There we are. Hi. 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 <laughs> they thought of everything tonight. Very exciting. Uh, I'm excited, uh, folks, here to present a highlight reel of great moments from the thousands of interviews we've done on the show are two very distinguished friends of late night. One is an award-winning actor and the founder of the National Actors Theater. The other combines the classic sensibilities of a 1950s robot with the dynamic flair of a 1970s street pimp. Please welcome Tony Randall and Pimpot 5000. You know, a pimp bot. Uh, Conan's had a lot of great guests on the show over the years. As a matter of fact, I was on the very first show. Hey, I heard you likes the young women's. You a freak, Daddy. I was hoping for once that wouldn't be brought up. It was certainly no easy task deciding which clips would be on tonight's show. Looky here, Grandpa. I got a 10% senior discount on all my hoes today. But no rough stuff. Dig? Tastelessness, it seems, usually gets laughs. <laughs> Though not always. I think we can both agree that the interviews are our favorite part of the show. So let's look at them. I'll cut you, fool. <laughs> Enjoy. White bread. I, I, uh, I, I want to ask you something. This is a question that... that... Uh, people wouldn't expect, but when I first got this job, uh, I came here to, to 30 Rock. How I mean, did you get this job, by the way? <laughs> was, it a, was it a theme writing contest? Or yes. What? Yes. Yeah. It was a what would I do with a talk show, and I was fourth. Uh, you die in it, and this is how you come back. Uh, I died. Mm -hmm. I got up. I went over to the producer, and I said, I got an idea. Captain, uh, uh, Kirk. Kirk. <laughs> How did you feel about that when they came to you and said, you're going to play a, a pot-smoking granny? I love Aretha. <laughs> this is a big deal. You're on the cover of this thing. This oh, is it's, very nice. it's a big, big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
have no concept. I can't imagine. We gotta get you on there. <laughs> oh, you don't want to talk about that. Oh my God. It's a little game we call quarters. Still with uh, you? Still with John Stamos? I know you two have been going out for a long time. That relationship uh, is it falling apart yet? What's, what's going on? <laughs> Why, Conan? <laughs> oh, I don't know. That way. Look what you're laughing, friend. at that page again? Yeah, man. I just really think she's cute. <laughs> you know, who I like is the brunette over there. Oh, yeah. No, she's cute, too. <laughs> yeah. You are making a movie with Carrot Top, right? I made a movie with Carrot Top. OK. <laughs> but uh, what's the movie going to be called? Well, really? I know what it's going to be called. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> If it's got Carrot Top in it, you know what a good name for it would be? What's that, Norm? Box Office Poison. <laughs> you have to keep activating it with hot water or, uh, and, you know, the spare mm. carbon dioxide. There's dry ice in there. No, there is yes, not. Yes, there is. There is not. Dry there ice is... just got in my throat. No. <laughs> no. Restricting air passage. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. That. That's like this. That's like that's amazing. You must have worked very hard to get that kind of yeah, a. You, you, you got quite a rack, is what I'm trying to say. You <laughs> There's this movie coming out. Yes. Title undetermined at this point. Chairman of the board. Oh. All right. Do something with that, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet the board is spelled B O R E D. Okay. Here we go. We're getting closer and so closer. So I dive. After you dive. Once I restrain it by the neck, you take the tail in, man. Here we go. Here we right. go. Here we go. Hit it. Get it. Actually, uh, really uh, incredible. My skills are really uh, amazing. <laughs> this interview is over. Great since then. A lot of fun stuff. And uh... Andy, that's weird. The, this phone that I have on my desk for no reason is ringing. That's odd. Well, you better get it or it's yeah. just gonna keep ringing. I'm assuming it's a congratulatory phone call. Uh, hello. Hello. Yeah, can I help you? Hello to you. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, uh... Conan, how are you, honey? Fine. Uh, who is this? Can't believe it. Five years, baby. <laughs> time, time watches on, and you're leading the parade, sweetheart. Yeah, thank you. Uh, who is this? It's been quite a ride, Conan, and you're Captain Stooping. <laughs> Do you remember me? Do you remember me? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember, no. You don't remember me? No, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't... Well, sorry doesn't take away the pain, Conan. <laughs> Imagine what you would feel if somebody came up to you and asked to play connect the dots on your freckles. Huh? That's what I'm feeling right now. God, Conan, this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, yeah. Sure, I remember you. Yeah, sure. You do? Yeah, whatever. Do you like me? What? Are you my boyfriend? No, 
I'm not your boyfriend. Come on, yes, who is are. this? You're my I want to know who this is. Fling, all right. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take a break, folks. Stick around, we got so much more. We'll see you in a second. I'm here, you're here, we're here. It's time to get back to the best part of the 60s. That's right, when McDonald's introduced the Big Mac. Buy a Big Mac or larger medium soft drink and get something groovy every time. Uh, all the people and music and the bubbles. Like a 49 cent Big Mac, 18 cent fries, or other 1968 prices on your next visit. To all be packed. Where can you get back with Big Mac? Did somebody say McDonald's? It's all so... Hey, you got a quarter? Out of cash? 1-800-CALL-ATT is the one low rate. Anytime, anywhere, cheap way to make collect calls. Use 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. C-A-L-L-A-T-T. C-A-L-L-A-T-T. My brothers can be a little... Maybe they're not coming. Picky, protective, quick to judge. She said. So, when you meet them, just make sure. Here you go. Best looking beer in the house. You look smart. Guys, what'll it be? Bolder, richer, creamier. Killian's Irish Red. One look says a lot. If you buy only one video, make it the experience of a lifetime. Now you can take the voyage home. Titanic. Sean Graham, veteran stuntman. This is how he lives. This is what he drives. What else would he drive? Chevy S10, like a rock. On the season premiere of Mad About You. P -p -p Paul takes Viagra. Yeah! He got it from Ira and it turns him on. He's got to find his wife, but she is gone. Sh -sh She's in a towel. Sexy! She got locked out and she's on the street. Will Paul and Jamie ever meet? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! She has an Oscar. What are you looking at? He has a problem. Mad About You Tuesday night. The season premiere, NBC Tuesday. Brace yourself for NBC Premier Week. Bring him in! Last year it was live. This year, ER will blow you away. 2,000, 3,000. Let's go out now! On Homicide, last year's ambush becomes this year's vendetta. Emmy winner Law & Order's new DA takes no prisoners. Her tactics are high-handed. Come on, out of the way. Three award-winning dramas with all new episodes. No deals for anybody. Let's hang them all. The premieres of Law & Order, ER, and Homicide begin in one week on NBC. NBC Premiere Week is coming with all the cliffhanger answers. When we left friends, Rachel heard the London wedding shocker. Hi, Ross. Take the Emily. Take the Rachel. Could have been worse. He could have shot her. Will Monica and Chandler get back under the sheets? How could we have let this happen seven times? And after friends, will Christina Applegate star in Jesse? Will it be a new comedy from the producers of Friends? Will this promo ever end? Find out on NBC next Thursday. Favorite moment. Favorite, 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 favorite moment. Woo! I got nothing. <laughs> I can't help you. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
You know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, really, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm very proud that I have a network special, but we still have to remember that cable is expanding, and they've got some great channels, too. Oh, yeah, we, got, we should check it out. Yeah, one of my all-time favorites is the Punch in the Face channel. It's a great oh. channel. Everybody loves that one. Who's on tonight? Larry King. Larry, Larry King, King is on the Punch King. in the Face channel. We gotta check this out. So let's, uh, uh, uh-huh. Three, two, one. channel that uh, that I've always liked over the years is the Clive Clemens inappropriate response oh, channel. Inappropriate responses. Yeah, uh, I think you got another channel. Alone. Yeah, folks, this is uh, this is the channel where British heavy metal guitar legend Clive Clemens presents some of his favorite inappropriate responses from everyday life. Let's look at it. Yeah, so I spent the weekend in Connecticut with my grandmother. Ooh, kinky. <laughs> <laughs> what? Inappropriate! Wow, well, coffee sure is good today. Thank God for Saddam Hussein. Check this out. Huh? <laughs> Inappropriate! That's retarded. You know, uh, another another one of my favorites is the Kids Action Hero Network. Oh yeah, they. Uh, this is the network they debuted the. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when That's they came right. out. Yeah. Right, yeah, and tonight they're featuring the embryonic rockabilly polka dotted fighter pilots. <laughs> embryonic rockabilly polka dotted fighter pilots. I hear it's the latest thing, the kids love it. We gotta check it out. Embryonic rockabilly polka dotted fighter pilots. First and last primetime special. Andy, let me ask you something uh, very briefly. Uh, okay. What has this show, in your opinion, been known for all over the world? Incredible musical spoofs? <laughs> I'm referring to a singer who is now entering his fifth decade as a performer. And is he hot? All the young people are now finding out what all the older people found out when they first heard him, and now he has a whole new audience, and so does he deserve this. Conan O'Brien, ladies and gentlemen. Consider yourself at home. Consider yourself part of the family. I'm taking to you so strong. It's clear. Monster in the garden of love, and that monster's name is hate. And if we don't destroy that monster soon, it just might be too late. Spow. There are cranky, sometimes hyper, the soft spots have it hard. And that
that's no Kafka. <laughs> with some great moments of me and Andy all over the world after this brief public service announcement from Max Weinberg. Hey, sometimes condoms break. Deal with it, Missy. <laughs> so we humans have a funny thing about work. We actually like it. And while we get much more out of work than a paycheck, the paycheck feels pretty good, too. That's why there's Provident Income Protection. If you're ever sick or hurt and can't work, the money keeps coming in, along with any help you need so you can get back to work. If you really want to call it that. Provident. I never walk into a place I don't know how to walk out of. You worried about saving your own skin? Yeah, I am. Let's go! That was my body. United Artists presents the thriller that will keep you guessing. What's in the case? Keep you thinking. The girl sold us out. We're following the wrong people. And keep you on the edge of your seat. Academy Award winner Robert De Niro. What are you? Roman, rated R. Starts Friday, September 25th. For 97 years, GMC has designed trucks for people who drove them not because they were trendy, but because their lives depended on them. Heroes who measured a truck by its power and its determination. That heritage lives in the new Yukon Denali. A luxury SUV with a 255 horsepower V8. It meets the demands of professionals and the standards of history. The Yukon Denali by GMC. You're watching The Late Night with Conan O'Brien 5th Anniversary Special. We opened a doorway to the other side of the universe. Shoot anything that comes down that ramp. And gave them a path to us. You got seven minutes. The blockbuster smash is coming to NBC. What a rush. Stargate, NBC Sunday, 8.30, 7.30 Central. The producers of Frasier have won for best comedy five years in a row. What did they do for an encore? I'm home! Nathan Lane stars in Encore Encore, NBC Tuesday. Well, the good news is you might get some great deals on TV, stereos, and computers and find out how major problems at Sun TV could affect local prices and the warranties for some of the stuff in your house. Plus, do you or someone you know drive a Honda? The companies are calling almost a million cars. We'll have a complete list of models. Also tonight, two important stories for local Catholic families. First, local priests make sure the money you donate ends up in the right place, while a shortage of new priests could cause local churches to close their doors. And how can you keep convicted child molesters away from your family? Tonight, local neighbors say the law isn't doing enough to protect their children. Channel 11 News starts with 11 at 11. Coverage you can count on. Today, this woman saw her paper published by a leading medical journal, discussed a new technique with colleagues overseas, and recommended a course of care that she believes has the best chance of success. So why should an insurance company let this man decide if that care is really necessary? We still believe that the doctor knows best. Choose your health care and your health insurance as if your life depended on it. UPMC Health Plan. Mais rends-toi compte, Janine. Ma fortune, mon renom, tout ça ne vaut rien si tu n'es pas là pour le partager. Je t'en supplie, accepte. Mais il faut que tu me dises maintenant, Jean-Paul. Est-ce que je pourrais choisir ma propre compagnie d'électricité Pas si vite. Où est-ce que tu te crois En Pennsylvanie If you've already enrolled in the Electric Choice program, look for this brochure in the mail. 
or call 1-888-PUC-FACT. The children, the laughter, the times we've had, the life we share. It all began when I gave you a diamond. This anniversary, I'll give you another. A solitaire as bright as our dreams for all that's been and all that's to come. For your anniversary, the diamond solitaire. A diamond is forever. De Beers. The next highlight reel of great comedy are two very talented comics. One you know from television and from his work in films like True Lies, and the other is a sensational comedian whom we first discovered at the Westminster Dog Show. That's right, please welcome Tom Arnold and Triumph the Insult Comic Dog. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a great pleasure for me to be here on this occasion to honor what has become one of the best late night shows on television. Yes, yes, one of the best. For me to poop on! Come on, Triumph. Uh, a lot of people really think that this show is funny and innovative. Yeah, it's funny and innovative. Yeah, right. And I still have my testicles. <laughs> All right. Maybe we should talk about these clips. Is this the best guest you could get, Conan? I mean, come on! Hey, hey, hey. You know, I had my own show on the WB. Oh, the WB. Oh, yes. <laughs> the WB. Yeah, I've got worms in my stool that had shows on the WB. <laughs> And what about that crazy Roseanne, hey. huh? What? Hey, listen, dog. Don't you ever badmouth that woman again as long as you live, you hear me? She gave me a career, and she saved my life when I was on drugs. Didn't she once say you had a three-inch penis? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Go for it. All right. All right, let's look at these clips of Conan and Andy on location all over the world. That's right, because they're really, really great. For me to poop on! Hey, what the hell is doing? I think this is a chemistry set. I have a nephew who would love this. I was looking for a bong, but something in sort of a size eight. Oh, this is a cute bong. Look at that. This is, a. Uh... So this one is for home, and this one is for on the go. So what is it if you're traveling? And for the office. The, this is the office right here. This is the car that Miss America will win, and uh, I think <coughs> this one's for the runner-up. <laughs> What's your main reason for, for winning, for, you know, for wanting to win? For wanting to be Miss America? Mm -hmm. Well, there, there are quite a few reasons why I think all of us are why we're here. First, the first reason being that it's a wonderful scholarship program, and that's the whole reason why I first joined the Miss America pageant. This is all mail for Daryl. Daryl Sherbet, IRS, Daryl Sherbet, IRS. You just open one of his letters. You want me to open it? Open one of the letters. It's just someone who wants them to sign his card. That's nice. Well, that's cool. So yeah. You're not you know, I'm going to give a real treat for this kid. I'm going to sign it and send it. That's going to be a real treat for him. And he's going to help us cover the weather from coast to coast, including all that heavy rain in the Northeast. Andy? There's a lot of heavy rain in the Northeast today, Martin. Let's go over and look at our weather map to look at uh, some of our highs for Sunday. Uh, we've got... Morning rises happening. Excuse me, uh, hold on just a second, sir. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Kevin, uh, what do you make of that? Isn't that impressive? Max Weinberg has his own giant billboard. No oh, big deal. Who doesn't? <laughs> Can we take this off, the caution student driver? Because it makes me feel a little less cool. 
I like stepping off the big rig. <laughs> you gotta open the door and turn and back off the steps. If you jump out or, you know. But jumping out is cool. Yeah, but you can't do that in motor vehicles. Ah, in the too many stop. rules and regulations. Why doesn't the government get off our backs? <laughs> We're truckers, damn it. I wanna live. <laughs> hey, someone, no one would give me any lip at a truck stop, would they? I would. A guy like me? No. Nope. With these guns? Uh-uh. You think it's ridiculous that I call these guns? No. That's what you want to call them. That's I just... Stay loose. Bounce. Okay, I'm losing my pants. Is there anything we can do about that? Is there any, I mean, because you don't, you're not street if you're like, hello! I don't think I could. Okay, right. Come on, everybody, okay, let's go. Oh. I'm here with Melissa Etheridge who sang some Janis Joplin songs tonight. You trying to watch yourself, man? Yeah, I'm trying to watch my own show. What's that? I said, they don't show that in Houston. No, we're on at 2.40 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, but they don't, they don't show that kind of crap in Houston. No, 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 we're the good crap now. Oh, you're the good crap? Yeah, you're talking about the first year. Yeah. No. Where's your crappy buddy at? No, 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 he's good now, and I'm good now for the first year and a half. Crap. <laughs> but then we got our stuff together, and now it's a good show. Oh, it, okay. Well, What's your name? Buffalo. Buffalo, how are you? Good to meet you. Real well, well. Oh, good. I'm trying to find my show. Well, it's on right now. I it first, because it's not a show without the little fat dude. He's, he's back in New York City. He's in drug rehab. That's a good place for him. Yeah, he's taking care of himself. That's good. Okay, I'm going to try and get the show. All right, good to meet you. Take care. I was just almost murdered. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get there. I miss Buffalo. What a kindly old soul. All right, we're gonna take a break, folks. Stick around, though. The President of the United States is gonna stop by. If you thought AT&T One Rate Plus made calling simple at 10 cents a minute... A little too simple, maybe. Now there's something that'll have you calling even more. What, are you sick? Introducing 5 cents a minute on weekends. That's half off. <laughs> AT&T One Rate Plus. 10 cents a minute, anytime, anywhere, and now 5 cents a minute on weekends. How do you sleep at night? Some of you dialing perhaps a little too hard. To get 5 cent weekends, call now to enroll. Unfortunately, when you buy a Honda certified used car, you know what you're getting. Because to be certified, first it must pass a 150-point inspection. Then it's backed by one of the strongest warranties in the industry. starts to bite. Do you have what it takes to bite back? Gatorade Frost. Is it in you? Detective James Carter loved his job until he got a partner. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Now, the fastest hands in the East do it again. Team up with the biggest mouth in the West. Which one of y'all kick me? Jackie Chan. Bitch boy. Chris Tucker. Don't you ever touch a black man's radio, boy. 
Rush Hour, rated PG-13. Starts Friday. Later on an all-new Tonight Show, it's Meryl Streep's first time with Jay. I've never done this before. Well, every girl says that. <laughs> and from the new show Encore Encore, Nathan Lane makes quite an entrance. Plus, Iron Jay and what finally pushes the prez over the edge. Hey, I ordered fries. Where are my fries? Stay up for Meryl Streep and Nathan Lane. And tonight on an all-new Conan, another chilling look at the future. Plus, Ben Stiller, Fomka Jansen, and after five years on TV, Conan's really relaxed now, don't you think? Mm -hmm. All new tonight. It's uncensored. It's too hot to handle. I've been a bad, bad boy. Call 1-800-NBC-1500 and get the Late Night with Conan O'Brien 5th Anniversary video. You're going to play a, a pot-smoking granny. I love re- I like the brunette over there. You get three different collectible video covers with each tape. <laughs> Call 1-800-NBC-1500 to order. Just $19.95 plus shipping and handling. It's too hot. You're a disgrace, Cracker Boy! Okay. Okay, my favorite Conan moment was when... Okay. He had just... Um, he had just finished an, um, an interview or something. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. And um, he said, okay, so we'll be right back. And then... Um, this Taco Bell commercial came on with this like cute little chihuahua that talks. <laughs> it was really cute. I don't know how those ad people think of that. It was really good. So much warmth coming from all my old friends. Uh -huh. Folks, uh, let's face it, I've talked to a lot of famous people over the last five years, but the one who's appeared over a hundred times is ironically the guy who should be the hardest to get, our Commander-in-Chief, please welcome live via satellite, President Bill Clinton! How you doing? How you doing, everybody? Yeah. Anniversary! Well, hey there, it's... Uh, yeah, great. Anniversary! Yeah. It's uh, nice to have you here, Mr. President. Mr. President, yep, yeah, that's still me. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. You know, I, I really appreciate you uh, coming. You kidding, Conan? Conan, you the man! You the man, baby! You know what I love about you, Conan? You don't hate me. <laughs> You're the last one left that who hasn't come out against me. Well, no, no, sir, I, I, I like you. I, I, I think you're a nice guy. Thanks. Want to go get high? No! I do not want to go get high. No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Contract, contract. Here I am. I'm contract. Okay, here goes. <laughs> I didn't mean what I just said <laughs> about getting high. I'm going to do right by Conan. <laughs> Did they buy it? Did they yeah, buy it? Yeah, I think they bought it. Yeah! <laughs> Are you baby? Sir. Sure. Sir, do you want to introduce the clip package? Let's watch some of you with me and some other dudes, whatever. Yeah! Sir, okay, yeah, let's just look at that package. That's what she said. Oh! <laughs> I'll be Ken Starr, and, and, uh, and I'll ask you some questions, all Take right? Take it from the top, baby. All right, well, I got a little Bible here. Uh, sir, uh -huh. do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? They're not really gonna ask that, are they? Now, uh, Mr. Jordan, you testified the other day in front of the grand jury for the fifth time. Yes. Once again, I answered the questions honestly, decisively, definitively. <laughs> Afterwards, I had a fish fillet. <laughs> fit as a fiddle that junk food days are over okay, man. okay because actually we have a plate of ring dings Get right here and I thought that... <laughs> I drove her speedily but responsibly what, what what kind of car a Chevrolet you're gonna campaign for 96 that's right. straight hours right up to uh, noon uh, on yeah. election day uh, yeah that's right gonna hit all 50 states 12 states a day, no sleep, not a problem. Gonna be the greatest come from behind. Andy, I think he's asleep. Yeah, I think 15 he's... 15% tax cut. I think cut. he's dreaming or something. I love you, Marie Antoinette. <laughs> hey, you, Og, this is my cave. Stay away from my mate. Og, Og, I'll push you in the tar pit. The red coats are coming. Oh. Big Bang, Lifeless Planet. 
must climb out of primordial ooze. <laughs> Use those fins as legs. Uh, hope these gills turn into lungs soon. All right. <laughs> You're promoting a war between the U.S. and Iraq? I most certainly am, my freckles sporting, whiskey snorting, leprechaun cavorting compadre. <laughs> Don King's gonna bring to you the most phantasmonious fight of all time, a most pugilatacious, expository, atrocity, namical war to end all wars. Saddam versus Clinton, I'm calling it the man with the nerve gas versus the president with the fat ass. <laughs> Boy, my, my I'm just having to pitch in and hopefully erase the disgrace of my four years in office. <laughs> Still a disgrace, right? You bet you're a disgrace, Cracker Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, she pleasured you. She did me slowly, <laughs> delicately, and skillfully. <laughs> and that's funny to you. It uh, amuses me. <laughs> well, what about the more serious charge that you asked Monica Lewinsky to lie in her deposition? I never ever asked her to lie under deposition. I asked her to lie there in that position. Next on 11 at 11. What happens when this TV breaks? If you've ever bought something at Sun TV, we have some important news for you. It's a law that should protect your kids from abuse, but does it go far enough? Channel 11 News is coverage you can count on. If you want to... Where's the waitress? Where's the waitress? Attract... the waitress's attention. Try ordering something... So, who belongs to this good-looking one? More tasteful. Bolder, richer, creamier. Killian's Irish Red. One look says a lot. Did you know 1-800-CALL-ATT is the anytime, anywhere cheap way to make collect calls? So who's with me? <laughs> so use 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. are just more fun than others. So what are you waiting for? Carnival. Mitsubishi Galant. Totally new styling, nicely equipped at $17,990. All right, everybody, uh, that is our fifth uh, anniversary special. Do want to thank a lot of people. Our thanks to Lauren Michaels. Uh, my thanks to our producer, Jeff Ross. Uh, head writer John Groff, Robert Smigel, our director Liz Planka, and of course our guest Tony Randall, Adam Sandler, Tom Arnold. Of course, we got your and director right here. You got your Max Wander. Later on The Tonight Show, Jay welcomes the star of One True Thing, Meryl Streep, and Encore Encore's Nathan Lane. Your local news is next. These parents say they can prove a new law isn't protecting local kids from abuse. Plus, it's an announcement that affects hundreds of workers and the appliances in your home. And did a mom take her kids to school while dragging a police officer behind her car? 
Channel 11 News. Coverage you can count on. Good evening. Topping tonight's 11 at 11. One Beaver County community's frustrations could very easily.